Hey guys, it's Conley Adam, and we are here with three of the most amazing people I have ever met. Where? <gasps> Where? Right here, right here. We have performance artist Kenyon Phillips, Hi. whose show, The Life and Death of Kenyon Phillips, oh is coming back to Webster Hall on August 19th on my birthday, which I'm super Happy excited birthday. about. Thank you. And we are here with Tony Award winner Katie Huffman. <gasps> she's and here? She's here. <laughs> I can't believe it. And two-time Tony Award nominee Daphne Rubin Vega. <gasps> I'm here. So I am so excited now to get to talk to everybody. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Hey everybody, it's Adam. Live and in person for you. Hey everybody, it's Adam. Wonder who he'll interview. Call me Adam.com. So on August 19th, you guys are going to be at Webster Hall doing the life and death of Kenyon Phillips. Yes. What has been so far for each of you the best part about being involved in the show? And Kenyon, as the writer and the performer in it as well, what has been the best part? Being able to work with these geniuses to my left. I mean, it's, 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 I'm used to having to control things and not being able to count on anybody and thinking I have to think with both or all four sides of the brain. Katie, as a director and choreographer and dramaturg and everything that she brings to it, it's just like, it, I don't have to worry. I just instantly trusted her. And when we were doing the production the, the last time, mm -hmm. um, when she was playing uh, my mother, it was just all her ideas just made perfect sense to me. So this is kind of like that experience on steroids, where I can just... I can really kind of let go and truly be directed instead of worrying about what everybody else is doing. It's not the easiest thing for him to do. But. No, it's yeah. like all it's this control. Yeah. But it's good. Thing. Yeah. When he does it, it's quite beautiful. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, I've just got to let go. And then Daphne is just incredible. I adore her. She never, I don't think anybody makes me laugh harder. I know. She's just <laughs> and, a very special talent. And what's it like to come back to the role now? It's humbling. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of fun now I mean and true like we feel like we're you know now somebody is is at the helm that like we could totally roll up our arms and have fun and feel safe so don't fuck it up please <laughs> please do this do that no we've got order we've got we've got yeah we've got discipline it's a great group of people and Alex. someone who totally knows what she's doing mm -hmm. Who really, really fakes it well. And what's it like for you, Katie, to direct this piece, after starring in it, to now direct it and to direct Daphne in the role that you play? Yes, well, I wanted, did I insist on Daphne or did you just say we wanted Daphne? <laughs> I mean, I wanted Daphne yeah, to play really this role. Yeah. Now, he, yeah, because we, we considered maybe it'd be easier just to put me back in it. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I was like, no, 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 no. I have to have Daphne because there's just something wild about her. And if you each could give viewers watching one reason why they should come see the life and death of Kenyon Phillips oh. from your perspective. Oh. It's a very joyful, sexy experience, you know, and that's just, I think, how most people would describe Kenyon as joyful and sexy, right? Thank you. Yeah. Right? Right. I would agree with that. It's a different kind. It's an original experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, there, there are no original ideas, right? right? But I think this particular sort of compendium of ideas I haven't really seen before mm -hmm. all on the same stage, and, I, and that's proven by trying to produce it in various venues yeah. and being told no by so many different venues. Mm -hmm. Well, no, we can't have, you know, uh, aerialists. We can't have aerialists. We can't, can't have, have uh, people can't. juggling dildos. We can't have the tightrope walker. We can't, you know. We can't have confetti anywhere. Yeah. Apparently can't have confetti. Can, confetti's like no the worst way. thing. Confetti's like, like, venue. It's like the but herpes. But despite thing. all that, yeah. it actually is a story that makes sense without all the conflama, even though the conflama is beautiful and wonderful, that you've actually made it a story that's, that's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of fun. And that's the goal. Yeah. The goal is, I mean, beneath all the sex and the spectacle and everything like that, it's, it's really, it's about, um, you know, sharing your truth mm -hmm. without fear mm -hmm. and um, without regret. Mm -hmm. And my hope is that people can, like, see this show and just, take their skeletons out of the closet and dance with them. Yeah. Well, I think you know? that's something everybody can relate to, is letting go of the f fear and whatever else they have that, yeah. that they're hiding. And it's great to have a piece that they could come and watch and be like, you know what, maybe this will help me 
shed my shame of whatever. And that's the, oh, be- the best kind of theater yeah. does that for you, yes. right? Just yes. that the 90 minutes of forgetting your own woes mm-hmm. and experiencing a level of freedom yes. and joy. That's awesome. And my last question is oh. going to be a fun question. All right. It might be my last two questions. But so it's going to be like a James Lipton question. Mm. No, it'd be better if you than meet James Lipton. God, what would you say? No, it's yes. not going to be that. I'm not that, <laughs> I'm not that cerebral. It's not going to be like that. No, if you could create your own signature drink, what would you call it and what ingredients would you put in it? Mine would definitely have coffee and Coca Cola. Mm. Oh, mine is so yellow and spritzy. Ooh, Lemony. yellow and spritzy? Absolutely. Lemonade and, you know, some sort Tequila. of flavored seltzer. And it would what would be... you call this yeah, drink? What would you call Big that? white girl. I don't know. Oh, yes. oh, yes. oh yes. Big white girl. Yeah. Big, happy, big white girl. Big happy white girl. I have a big happy white girl. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> Considering I've never had a drop of alcohol in my life, um, let's see. <laughs> Yeah. I would do. He's like water. I would do <laughs> water, water, with water with ice cubes. <laughs> no, you know what I'd do Hot if it was a signature drink? I'd put literally every, like Long Island iced tea, I'd take that to the nth degree. Mm-hmm. I'd put every single type of liquor you could possibly put in it, mm-hmm. and I'd call it my family. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's everything. That's all my questions. Did we have fun? Oh my God, we had a blast. We had fun. And I know everybody watching is going to come get your tickets to the life and death of Kenyon Phillips, August 19th, Webster Hall. I'll have the link for tickets up on callmeadam.com. He'll get the dirt and the scoop and the story for he happens to be in the know. Just ask anybody who's had him, had him, lived for the business of show. Callmeadam.com.